Well, that's right. You know, the truck over my shoulder is involved in this crime scene. And according to the sheriff's office, two plainclothes detectives fired their weapons and a man was killed after an altercation on this road. And what unfolded here also helped bring a family back together. Being said this morning, it's just a big blur. It's, it's just, just surreal, the whole yeah. thing. This reunion between Poodle Monkey and his family, Carl and Stephanie Sanders, comes on the heels of an officer-involved shooting. But even before this crime scene, there was a weekend filled with worry because of an alert that went out on Friday. It all started when Carl pulled into a gas station and left the keys and monkey in his truck while he made a quick trip inside. I walked in to buy a pop and I looked out the window and I saw my truck flying out of the parking lot right in front of me as I, as I ran out the door. There was nothing I could do at that time. I get there and he's kind of falling apart. The truck and their four-year-old poodle gone. Fast forward from Friday to this morning when detectives received a tip about the stolen truck. Well, it brought him out here to Southeast 352nd in the VZ Cumberland. This is where they found a man in the truck. The King County Sheriff's Office says he rammed the detective's vehicle. Some type of physical altercation occurred and shots were fired and the suspect ended up dying there at the scene. Monkey in the passenger seat made it out with just a minor injury. Our whole life kind of revolves around Monkey, so we do everything together. From being taken before Carl's eyes to finally back in his arms, yeah. this is the family reunion they had hoped for. And she actually told me this morning we're getting Monkey back today. I just had a feeling, yeah. She did, yeah. yep. Oh, back out here live, what we can tell you about this investigation. There were two detectives involved, one with 21 years of experience with King County Sheriff's Office, the other with six years experience with the King County Sheriff's Office. They were in plain clothes and an unmarked vehicle following up on some information about the stolen vehicle when the shooting happened. Seattle Police Department is the agency that is conducting the investigation and the detectives are on leave, which is standard. The identity of the man involved has not been released yet. Reporting live, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.